What's up YouTube? This is Reality Junkie here and today we're gonna google the curvature of the earth and let's see what we find and the purpose of this video is not to try to convince you of anything okay I just wanted to show you some information and that's it okay so let's google curvature of the earth and then you see these uh, pictures and you see these, um, you see where I've done the red circle around. And that's uh, like the first uh, results you get up. And that's from um, students film breathtaking curvature of Earth using high altitude weather balloon. Okay, but then you, I made uh, four pictures here. At a, like a hundred meters up, like two hundred meters up, like a three hundred feet, you can see the curvature of the Earth, and then you can see it's concave, and then you can see it's convex. So, when uh, Google show you, like almost every picture is from that uh, the students film breathtaking curvature of the Earth, and then you see that they're using a fisheye. A wide-angle lens. So, my question to you now is, how can you prove that you see the curvature of the Earth if you use a fisheye lens? Um, to me, that's uh, pretty retarded. I don't like the word retarded, but that's retarded. Okay? And then you see this uh, migflug. Flat earthers see the curvature of the earth, the absolute proof or the ultimate proof. Okay. Oh, finally, I can see a, 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 a MiG fighter jet go up and let's see the curvature of the earth. Oh, here, here it's convex. And here, here in this picture, it's flat. And here it's concave. So it's it's both concave, convex, and flat. Guys, how how is this proof of the curvature of the Earth? I'm asking you, how is this proof of the curvature of the Earth if they use a fisheye lens? As uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson said about the. Um, the Red Bull uh, space jump from uh, with uh, Felix Baumgartner and uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson says wide angle lenses curve horizontal lines so no earth curvature for Felix at three times an airplane's altitude okay so how high do you have to get to see the earth's curvature M more than th three or four times apparently so wide angle lenses curve horizontal lines. So no earth curvature for Felix at three times an airplane's altitude. And then uh, you can we, we're gonna look at Mythbusters. You know that from Discovery with Adam Savage and that other guy with the mustache. To um, yeah, I really enjoyed that uh, program when uh, I was like eighteen or nineteen. When I was uh, a complete fool, but here you can see, here you can, uh, here you can, we can what play an this. unbelievably beautiful day. And from this height, sixty-seven thousand five hundred feet, the edge of our planet has a definitive curve to it. Sixty-seven thousand five hundred feet. The edge of our planet has a definitive curve to it. And how high are you, Adam? 67,500 feet. The edge of our planet has a definitive curve to it. It is, uh, there we are. Ladies and gentlemen, 70,000 feet. More than double the height of his 
standard commercial airliner. We, 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 if you ask an astrophysicist, they say you have to go up more than three or four times the height to see the curvature. So why are Mythbusters lying about seeing curvature? Jamie, I totally owe you one. <laughs> the complex exhaust. It is, uh... It is, uh... It is, uh, uh it's weird, Adam, when you have the camera pointed towards you, you can see behind you that it's perfectly straight, horizontal line. And then uh, the next clip is, uh, <laughs> you see a really big curve, like, and then you see the uh, wide angle lens distortion. So what's up with that, guys? Yeah, double the height of a standard commercial airliner. And uh, yeah, you remember Philips Baumgartner? When he jumped up from the uh, edge of space? Just look at this picture from Philips Baumgartner when he jumps uh, from the edge of space over planet New Mexico. <laughs> and, and look at this. Uh, can you see where it says Zenith? That's a w watch, apparently. But look at that Senate logo. And look at the other picture. It's switched place. You see that? It's the same flight, but they can't even um, fake it right. He didn't jump two times with two different, uh, like, uh, balloons. So the Senate logo is off. Hmm. I mean, that, that's weird. Wide angle lenses curve horizontal lines. So no earth curvature for Felix at three times an airplane's altitude. So how come Adam from Mythbusters, you can clearly see that the earth has a definitive curve to it. So please uh, explain to me why, why, uh, why are they uh, lying? about seeing the curvature hmm yeah why why tell me why why do they lie how come there are so many contradictions yeah think about that i've had people ask me uh, uh Reality junkie, they don't call me reality junkie, they call me you one, but are, are you retarded? Have you never b been on an airplane? Have you never f f flown before? You can clearly see the curvature of the earth And I'm like, oh So you claim to say you, ha you, you, you have seen the curvature of the earth from a commercial a airliner and they like yeah I've seen the curvature and I'm like, oh, dude, you're hallucinating. Oh, uh, uh, no. And then I show them when astrophysicists say you can't see any curve even at four times the altitude of a commercial airliner. And they're like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and uh, w whether you believe the earth is uh, flat or a sphere you probably agree with me that you can't prove the the curvature of the earth w with using a fisheye lens a wide angle lens whether you believe the earth is flat concave convex it's a sphere you don't prove anything with a fisheye lens. Uh, even if you're a glober, you can agree with me on this. And if you don't, if you don't, and you call me retard, then you're the retarded one. Seriously. When I when I was a globe Earth believer, I, I was like the flat Earth. I, I I can see why people think the Earth is flat. There's so much lies, but. I didn't call like flat earthers retarded or stupid or dipshit. Like, uh, man, the, the, the globe earth believers are so nasty sometimes. 
It's unbelievable. But I don't care. It's pretty funny. They will get it sometimes, hopefully.